specialists with Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium are sounding the alarm. A study revealed widespread illegal shark fin trading. All of this trading is happening nearly 10 years after international protections were put in place. News Channel 8's Alessandra Young joins us with, with what the new study revealed. Alessandra. Stacy and Josh, hey there, good evening. So sharks are known to frequent these waters here near the Skyway Bridge, especially hammerheads. Now, researchers with Moat tell me this study they conducted is the largest one of shark fin trading that has ever been done. And what they found was shocking. In 2014, international trade regulations were put into place for five species of sharks. Three large species of hammerheads, the poor beagle shark, and the oceanic white tip. This didn't ban trade in the fins, but it made it so that uh, countries that were exporting the fins to Southeast Asia had to certify that it, the catches behind the export were sustainable. Since 2014, Dr. Damon Chapman with Moat says very little trades have been reported. According to the legal trade, the, the, the reported, the regulated, the certified trade of these five species, there should be very little of any of them in the market in Hong Kong because the, the trade records say that, that it's, it's very little. They should be like a unicorn. But their study showed that's not the case. These researchers went to the Hong Kong market and used DNA testing to figure out what species of shark fins were being sold. We looked at close to 20,000 samples over this, this seven year period. Uh, and what we found was they were not unicorns. They were very common. Dr. Chapman says Florida has a lot of regulations on shark fishing, and we are beginning to see a recovery from when they were being overfished in the 1990s. But the state still plays a part in transporting the fins. Florida, and particularly Miami, is a big hub uh, for fins being, uh, being basically harvested in, in Latin America and then coming through the airports here and then going out to Asia. Dr. Chapman says that if this continues, then we're going to have to say goodbye to these species of sharks, which would really have a huge impact on the ocean. For now, live in Manatee County, I'm Alessandra Young, 8 on your side.